Hi, my name is David Maldo, and today I want to share my template for using OBS for Zoom and a quick tutorial for how to use it. You see, I've been using OBS software to do a lot of cool and fun things in Zoom, Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars. You could see some other videos on this YouTube channel to see what I'm talking about. But for a while now, people have been coming to me and saying, hey, can you just give us beginners a simple template or a way to get started using OBS for Zoom so we can have our background behind us, our logo or, or image, and of course, uh, a customizable lower third. So in this video, we're gonna get you here in five steps. We're going to download the template. We're going to download and install OBS. We're going to install the template. Then we're gonna customize your scenes and finally connect you to Zoom. We're not gonna worry about configuring OBS audio at all. We're just gonna use Zoom audio the way we've always used it. So first step, Click the link in the description below and download the OBS for Zoom zip file. After you download the zip file, you want to unzip it directly into your C drive. The reason is, inside the folder, in addition to the template, I have some graphics for you. And OBS is going to look in this folder for the graphics. So just download it to the C drive. And the next step is to download OBS. So to download OBS, you just go to obsproject.com. And I'm sorry, this template only works for Windows. Um, everyone else, you might be able to get ideas from this, but made it for Windows. So click where it says Windows, and it will download it. So to install it, just go through the wizard normally, accept the license, let it choose its location, and launch it. When you first run it, it'll give you these three options to set it up. Let's set it up for the virtual camera. That all looks good. And now we're running OBS. So the next thing is to set up our template. So the template is actually a scene collection. So at the top, we click on scene collections, import. We don't want to do this automatic thing. And here we choose the path where the template was. We click these three dots and in our C drive, the OBS for Zoom folder we downloaded before, and there's our template. Choose it, make sure it's selected here, and go ahead and import it. Now you'll notice that nothing's changed. That's because we imported the scene collection, but we didn't select it yet. So let's go out, back up to scene collections, and there it is. So let's choose it, and now we have some things happening. Now I know there's a lot to look at here. But for our use, for using this with Zoom, we're not going to use the audio mixer. We're really not going to use the scene transitions. They're just already set up. We're going to focus on the sources and the scenes. So let's look at these two areas. Think of your scenes as theater stages. That's your area. This is your scene where your stuff goes. And the sources are the stuff within the scenes. So first thing, let's set up our webcam. I already have it here for you, but it needs to know that it's your webcam. So let's double click on it to bring up the properties and you'll have a device drop down and you want to choose your webcam so this should be the right one there we go and now we have your webcam now once it's in here you might want to move it around the way you move your sources around you click right here the lock and that brings up the bars and it's just like photoshop or any other visual tool you can resize you can move things around get it where you want it so next, let's set up your logo. If you click on your logo, you can see right here, it shows exactly what file it links to. If you want to put up a different file, just click browse and link to your logo. And again, or product image, whatever you want it to be, once you have it up there, you could resize, move it around. So the last source you see here is nested backgrounds. Let me explain what that is. You understand what our webcam is, what the logo is, how are the backgrounds working? The way I did that is just to make it cleaner, instead of having a bunch of backgrounds down in that list, I embedded a scene. This nested background is actually, if we go all the way to the right, this scene here. So if we look at this drop down list, any background that I choose in here, if I go back to the main scene, that becomes our background here. This makes it easier to, to manage things. Go to nested background if I want to go to the library. When I go back to the main scene, I have my library. 
And one final thing, I have my second monitor here. So this is how at the beginning, when I wanted to show the website, whatever's on your second monitor, whatever's running there, you can show there. So the last thing I want to show you is our lower thirds. The way I did that is I have a, another scene, you can see at the right there, main scene with lower third. And when I switch to it, get this. So first thing we do, let's click on the name source. And right here, we just change your name. Click on the title. And if you want to change the image, it's, image itself, you can uh, change your image, just as you did with the image on the other scene. And you can see here, the last source is the main scene. I made the main scene an embedded source, so whatever we do there reflects here. So when you're ready to go, start like this. You, you chat as you want to chat, and when you're ready to open up your lower third, you just switch to this scene. And when you want it to go away, you just make it go away. So our final step, how do we get this into Zoom? Well, luckily OBS made it easy for us. We had to use a plugin before. It was kind of hard to install and configure, but now you can see they added a button. Start, start virtual camera, you click that. You don't see anything happen, but it's working. And now when you go into Zoom, at the bottom left of your Zoom window, where you have your camera options, you'll now see OBS virtual camera. And if you select that, everything you're seeing in this window, you'll now be seeing in Zoom. Then once you get the basis going, it's just up to you. Customize as, as you want. You want to center yourself a little bit? That might be a little nicer, huh? Now you can see me. Use different backgrounds, use different graphics, change, uh, change up the lower third, make it the way you want it, or even go beyond that. I, and now that you understand how scenes and sources work, you can really take this to the next level. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. And I hope to be making more tutorials like this soon, uh, more templates. Let me know what kind of things you're looking for. Thanks.